Audubon is a late comer to climate change discussion, particularly at the chapter level, uh, like Western Guy Audubon Society. And I personally have become, become a champion of trying to present climate science to an audience that is not necessarily attuned to that. They're interested in conservation. They're interested in learning a lot about birds, <clears throat> but not so much about climate change, or, or at least talking about it. So I would very much like to hear your perspective about the best way, if there is one, to present climate science to any audience. Yeah, so climate science sometimes takes the conversation too far for a lot of people. And so, you know, at EcoWatch I've learned to, you know, break it up in many different, you know, ways. Um, so, you know, again, we're hitting a very broad audience, we call it All Shades of Green. And, you know, some people love that climate science and want the figures and the numbers, which, you know, we have plenty of articles that, that dictate that. Um, but then there's a lot of people who they're just not going to digest that type of information. So we find articles like 10 foods you, you know, climate change may, um, you know, take away from, from our planet. So avocados is a big one. Um, those types of things resonate much better with our readers than per se, you know, data, science data. So, but for Audubon, um, you know, the impacts that coal, firepower power has on birds and the fact that, you know, it emits carbon dioxide and the greenhouse gas and any ways you can bring it to what their affinity is, their passion, I think can have a huge impact. And I've, you know, certainly tracked what the Audubon's doing and their um, huge climate report they came out with, I think, about two years ago on the impacts of climate change on birds and Audubon's position came out you know, very strong in reducing carbon emissions. So um, I think birders are just an awesome example of people who really, if they just can rally behind this, could have a huge impact on policy and their individual action. So I think the Audubon's challenge of getting more of their members engaged on the issue is similar to a lot of other organizations. So just finding that common ground and the pieces, parts of the climate debate, which may not be the climate science. Um, there's so many ways to engage people on the issue of climate change that impacts their daily life. And, you know, um, we just ran a great piece by Dr. David Suzuki that talked about how you know species and where they live is changing because of the warming planet. So um, I know that's impacting birding, and I'm sure birders are noticing different species of birds that typically aren't in their region. So I think more honing in on something that's going to be directly related to their daily life or impact one of their passions you know, may be the better way. A lot of people get very glossy-eyed when you start talking, even about, you know, 1.5 degrees Celsius compared to 2 degrees Celsius. Like, there's really important information in there. What we've had to do is take that 1.5 to 2 and bring in content that describes it in a way that, you know, to the average person is going to want to read it. So, that data is vitally important for people to digest and understand, but you know how you present it is, is definitely how well.